Hi, I'm Ali Mazzi, and I played Glinda on Broadway in the first national tour and in the San Francisco production. Hi, I'm Kara Lindsay. I played Glinda on Broadway and the second national tour. Hi, I'm Amanda Jane Cooper. I played Glinda on Broadway and on the first and second national tours. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Kurtz, and I'm currently playing Glinda in Wicked's 20th year on Broadway. Hi, Glinda. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is so awesome. I'm so excited. It's so good to see you all. I just want to kick things off by wishing Wicked a big congratulations oh. on 20 years. 20, I wow. can't believe that. Can you guys believe it? No. Nope. I wow. arrived in Oz earlier this year, and I'm so excited to hear all of your experiences playing the iconic Galinda. Yeah. So, hey. Allie, yes. let's start off with you. Okay. Do you remember when you first got the call saying that you landed the role? And can you tell us a little bit about that? I was living in Los Angeles at the time, and I legit thought I was auditioning for the Los Angeles company of Wicked. So when I got the call, I was like, I have like a job in Los Angeles. And then they were like, no, it's for New York. And so I had to make a big decision to move across the country. Wow. Um, which was a huge decision. But also it was playing Glinda in Wicked on Broadway. Yeah. <laughs> Full disclosure, I debated it long and hard because there was a boy involved. <gasps> Oh so we my. broke up and deep. I moved to New York <laughs> and joined <Exclusive>. Wicked. <laughs> That's amazing. My whole life changed. I moved to New York, I started uh, Wicked on Broadway, and then I met my now husband during that time. Wow. So it was an excellent move on a personal and professional level. I was doing Newsies on Broadway and actually I had been going in for Nessa Rose for many years oh. and would get to the final callback and it didn't happen. I was like, what's wrong? And I realized I was going in for the wrong role. So it just I, I asked my agent, I was like, you know what, maybe I should try Glinda. And it was like the shoe fit. AJ? <laughs> Back in 2011, and I had met Stephen Schwartz at our alma yes. mater, Carnegie Mellon. We went to school together. We, we went to, to Carnegie Mellon together. together. At the same time? For one year. Yeah, oh, for a moment. For a moment. I love that. that. We go way big. We really do. <laughs> so I met him there, got to sing popular for him, and it was about 10 months after graduating, I was shopping with my sister in anthropology at Rockefeller Center when I got the call. Oh, wow. And I had a big stack of clothes just like that I was going to try on. And this is such a Glinda-like moment. <laughs> like, <laughs> shopping I had all my like, shopping, yeah. Wow. And my sister was there, and so it was just this That's beautiful perfect. moment to share. That's so awesome. Yeah. What about you, Yeah, what about you? Yeah, about you? I think I first auditioned in 2019. I graduated in 2019, and then... <laughs> What a year to graduate. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah? yeah? We went to school together yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously the world shut down oh, and girl. I was home for a while and then came back to New York City, was kind of back and forth. And I think I had another audition at the beginning of 2022 and then didn't hear anything for like months and months and months. And mm. then in November, got the call out of the blue and they asked if I would play Glinda for the 20th anniversary, <gasps> wow. which was oh. like oh. insane. Do you all remember the first time you experienced seeing Wicked? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My first Glinda was Kendra Kassebaum. Mm. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I have a picture that's now hanging in my dressing room of me standing outside the Gershwin with the Glinda poster in the oh. background and Kendra, you see like Kendra's name on the poster. And I remember my mom bought us all tickets separately so we could be as close to the stage as possible. Oh. So I was sitting by myself, sobbing, crying, oh. and it changed my life. And I was like, I mean, I knew then that I wanted to pursue musical theater. Oh, yeah. What about to be you? Here now. That's I know. It's beautiful. Crazy. <laughs> Megan Hilty was a senior when I was a freshman, and she was standing by in Wicked on Broadway, and she had a week where she was going on, and she like told told a lot of people at Carnegie. So I went to see her in the show. Like, oh, obviously, I wanted to see Wicked, yeah. but then to know the Glinda, I was like, I know. Her. <laughs> I know we're like best friends. I mean, she's a senior. I just <laughs> idolized her. Everything she as did. We do. Yeah. Right. As we do. As we still do. <laughs> yes. yeah. And my jaw was to the floor. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but that's a big deal though, because if you see someone like that, being like, oh, she can do it. I can do it. Right. That's true. Like, that's yeah. And she was, I mean, senior to freshman, she was the one. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I want to follow in your footsteps. Just like a freak here. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what 
about you? Um, so I grew up uh, just outside of Philly, which is pretty close to New York. So we took a coach bus up to the Gershwin and got to see the original cast. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It was just absolutely mind blowing. And I think seeing Kristen in particular up mm. there, like I had already fallen in love with theater, but seeing the show was the moment where I said, oh my gosh, I think I wanna like try to do this mm -hmm. with my life. I saw the original company as well. And my, my biggest memory that day in, it, so many people have, have seen the show now and come back and seen it a thousand times, so I don't think I'm spoiling anything, but the way it ends with Alphaba, I gasped. Mm -hmm. yes. I gasped because that's not what I was told to believe about that witch. What was it like descending in the bubble and seeing the audience for the very first time? Stage management kept having to tell me to lean forward. Yes. With the lights. Because yes. my instinct is to lean back. Well, protect. Yes. Protect. <laughs> Save grip me. On. I, would, I, I gripped that bubble many a time. <laughs> like, Allie, don't hold on to the bubble. I was like, I know. She's like, <laughs> I feel safer. And what I love about the beginning of The Glenda Show, I don't know if you guys relate, is you go really high up and you can kind of see the audience before yes. the show starts. Yes. Yeah. You hear that hubbub. Mm -hmm. yeah. That part, that part I love. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have like a little moment of silence mm -hmm. by yourself before you start and you make this insane entrance with bubbles flying around and everyone's eyes on you literally mm -hmm. and just diving into the show like starting here we go like we're gonna bring you on this journey so having that moment up there is like really special yeah. and then I don't know but did you guys have your past Glinda's yes. leave you a little something. Oh, yes. and I forgot about one. that. Yes, yeah. Like, so I you get up in the bubble too. and yes. there's like a little yes. note from the Glinda. Yes, yes. Brittany Aww. Johnson yes. left me something and it just is, you know, something I can read every yes. day before I do the show and it's like words of encouragement. <laughs> it's the coolest thing and it's like really a sisterhood, I feel like, because it's like yeah. we only know what our you know, this experience is. I forgot about those messages. I did too. Weren't they written on actually the packaging from our tights? What? Yes. Those were the ones that would get safety pinned up there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I need to now check. Fun it's fact. just like a um like a soft some rectangle. Of them are, yeah. Like a Might cardboard. not be that way anymore. Mm -hmm. I remember at my first city on tour was Fresno and that crowd was unreal. It was amazing. But I just remember I just thinking like a little of little Kara of mm -hmm. like I can't believe we're here. Like mm -hmm. how did we do that? Mm -hmm. That's amazing and just ultimate gratitude um, that I get to play this role. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I, just, like, I can't yeah. believe like, this iconic role, this iconic show, and I get to do this? Yeah. What? Yeah. How, did, how did I do this? Mm -hmm. In Fresno, we called Fres Yes because it was <laughs> such an amazing city. <laughs> Fres Fres yes. yes. Let's go. Yeah. Anyway. That's amazing. <laughs> Yes, I relate to the shaking. Mm -hmm. Every time I've had like my first, like a, a re-debut or coming back or whatever, mm. it's not, I don't know, it's just, cause we care. We care. Oh yeah. yeah. We care, that's why we shake. <laughs> <laughs> but being up in the bubble, I love the idea of like, yes, you're up there by yourself for these moments before the show, but having that message left for you by the previous Glinda mm. just reminds you that like even though you're up there by yourself you're not alone mm. and there are people who are rooting for you and cheering for you and who've come before you and have done it yeah just the privilege that it is mm -hmm. to be up there is just one of the greatest honors of my life and surreal yeah <laughs> you're so that's true yeah, it's true. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. We need tissues. Me, girl. <laughs> we need <laughs> tissues. <laughs> so why do we all think the show is so impactful after 20 years? Okay. Well, so my, my husband's in the show now, which is crazy. I don't know that. Yes. Yeah, so my husband, Kevin Massey, he is a swing in the show. So he covers The Wizard, Dr. Dillamond, and The Father, and... Others. Yes. And gets to play opposite this He's wonderful Mackenzie. Hey, Kevin. Hey. <laughs> but, so I've seen the show a lot recently, yeah. and okay. I hadn't seen it in a little while, and I'm sitting there sobbing. Mm -hmm. And I know how it ends, <laughs> but I'm still crying. It's mm -hmm. so, it's just timeless. Yeah. It's always inspiring. It always resonates. Um, just not <laughs> judging a book, book by its cover, accepting our differences, mm -hmm. but just coming together and forgiving one another. Mm -hmm. It's just something our society needs to hear. We just, it's just timeless mm -hmm. and it's always impactful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite parts of, is just going out the stage door and talking to the kids that are like, I've never seen this before. Mm -hmm. It really has held up. I think about little Mackenzie coming mm -hmm. at, you know, 
eight, nine years old and then doing it now and then talking to these eight and nine year olds out at the stage door. And it's like, mm -hmm. it's just magic. And I mean, also talking about just like Defying Gravity being one of the most iconic <laughs> moments so of musical that. theater <laughs> history, I feel like. It's like, yeah. I would just come to see that like yeah. every night. It's so, it's just the coolest. I guess the, just the theme of relationships. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what just tethers the whole thing together. Wicked just does it in this beautiful, humanizing way where you get to see both of the, the journeys of these women and their transformation, how they impact one another. And I think everybody relates to that person or people mm -hmm. in their lives. And also, I feel like we all come to a crossroads where we have to decide to be courageous. We have to decide to sacrifice yeah. or be brave or do the right thing even if it's not the popular thing mm -hmm. and I, that's such a human yeah experience and I agree with what you said about forgiveness that mm. that is what our world needs and it's so I think that's one of the reason it resonates because deep down like we know that mm -hmm. and I love too that it's it's this deep well yet you're you're definitely coming in there and you're cracking up yes as well yes. like right. it's a perfectly shaped journey I think what's cool now too is um people are coming back and now they're bringing like their kids because yeah. it's resonated so much with them and they need to share that um, with the younger generation. And that's what I finally get the stage door with the fans. It's my favorite part because mm -hmm. it's so unique why the show, it resonates on a very indiv individual level and I get to hear what that means to each individual person. So some people tell me, you know, at the stage door, I felt so much joy tonight. Yeah. Mm. Or you know what, I just really miss my mom and <sighs> thank you for the show tonight. It made me think of my mom. Honestly, a lot of the letters, it was oh, very yeah. healing mm -hmm. for a lot of fans. Thank yeah. you for getting me through a really tough time. And that's the gift, mm. I think, for me, is that like I got to be a little piece of the joy, the the healing of for, for people. You yeah. know. Anyway, this has been really fun. Oh such great questions. Just like also, I never get to hang out with the Glindas. <laughs> It's just like amazing and cool. It's yeah. so amazing and cool, and I really I couldn't be happier to share this role hey, with you all. Yeah. You all are so fabulous and lovely, and this mm -hmm. has just been amazing. And thank you for adding your magic to Glinda's legacy. And this show has played such an important role in all of our lives, and it's so great to see how popular it is <laughs> 20 mm -hmm. years later. <laughs> it is so crazy to think how many of us are connected by Wicked. I yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wicked wouldn't be Broadway's most popular musical without you. Your love and support over the last 20 years means the absolute world to us. Thanks for being part of our family, and I hope to see you in Oz soon. <laughs> 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 Thank you.